Pour yourself a cup of coffee and learn how to make classic coffee cake, which is perfect for breakfast or a snack any time of the day. It is loaded with tons of cinnamon and sugar and extra crumb topping. Welcome back, or if you're new here, my name is Kate and this is Bake That. In a large bowl, add cubed softened butter, brown sugar, all-purpose flour, ground cinnamon, and kosher salt. Use a pastry cutter, two forks, or your hands to mix together, breaking apart the butter until it is mixed into the ingredients and is a crumb-like consistency. And set this bowl aside. In a small bowl, add granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, and ground cinnamon. Use a small whisk or a fork and mix together to break up any granulated sugar. Place this bowl with the other bowl that you set aside. In a large bowl, add all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, and kosher salt. Whisk these ingredients together until they are combined. Set this flour mixture aside. It will be added to the wet ingredients later. In a large bowl of a hand or stand mixer using the paddle attachment, cream together the softened butter. Add the granulated sugar and continue mixing until it is fully incorporated. Add the sour cream to the mixture. If you do not have sour cream, you can also use milk or plain Greek yogurt. Continue mixing until the sour cream is incorporated into the mixture. Add the milk. And then add the eggs one at a time. And add the vanilla extract. Start adding in the flour mixture in small increments. Make sure to not overmix the batter. It will be pretty smooth but will be thicker than regular cake batter. Add in the remaining flour mixture. Use a spatula to add any flour from the sides and the bottom of the bowl into the mixture. Grease the sides and the bottom of an 8x8 pan and add half of the batter mixture to the bottom of the pan. Use a spatula and evenly spread out the batter, making sure it covers the bottom and reaches the corners of the pan. This batter is really thick, so be patient with this process. Using a spoon, sprinkle the cinnamon sugar mixture onto the batter in the pan. Try to get this layer as even as possible since it creates that nice line in the middle of the coffee cake. Add the remaining batter to the pan and carefully spread out the batter evenly on top of the cinnamon sugar mixture, making sure the batter goes to the corners of the pan. Try not to stir or mix the batter together or you will not have that line of cinnamon sugar in the middle of the coffee cake. I thought this was the hardest part of the whole recipe. Start adding generous amounts of crumb topping to the top of the batter. Make sure you cover the corners of the pan with crumb topping too. If you have 
have any leftover crumb topping, you can freeze it for up to six months. Place this coffee cake in a 350 degree preheated oven for around 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean or the crumb topping turns a light brown. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next week to bake more good things.